quickly. Protect the king! Hello everybody and welcome back! Woo! So last time we left off we were being attacked by a dragon! Oh! It's a dragon! I can't believe it! Miracle, stop admiring it and do something! I'm on fire here! Simple! Before the brute turns my army's essential! Dragon! Take cover! For the hoarding! You don't! You run! We've got to get to the town. We might stand a chance. Holy cow, I'm in a pickle here. Bear with me, folks. You want me to go away and tell you? I'm in trouble here. Where's that bloody help? Come on, Fault Test, help me! Right, <laughs> just quick, quickly. Wait! Uh oh. I can teleport myself, but not you. All right. Whoa. Oh. Triss. The bridge is burning. Quickly, this way. No time to waste. Burning bridges. Was that? Right, dragon nearly reversed the course of the battle. The fighting should have scared it off. Forget the dragon. I need to hear how this story ends. Don't we all, indeed? Right. Okay. So, uh, hello, folks, and welcome back. A bit of a, uh, a bit of a dramatic start to the session, as was expected, due to the end of the last one. Now, I didn't plan on ending on a cliffhanger. It's just the game crashed. So, uh, it crashed at a rather appropriate time, actually. So, anyway. <clears throat> this session, we're going to finish off this little prologue by uh, concluding what happened and why Geralt got thrown into prison. Now, uh, uh, the last session I did tweak the brightness a little bit, I, p I turned it up, but uh, there was a lot of glare. You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard. So I turned it down for this session, so hopefully it won't be so bad. Day of the Assault. Afternoon. <coughs> ha! And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? I fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your Grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed, and you'll be the envy of all Vizima. <clears throat> right. Okay. No point of questioning if things, uh, just crack straight on with it. Alright, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. Where are those axes? Move your asses! 
<laughs> and off they go, chopping away. Okay, so, journal first, I think. Quite a few extra bits since the last time. Righty hill then, so, you'll have to excuse me if there's a little bit of chopping and changing going on here. <laughs> But I'm having a lot of trouble with this game. It seems to be crashing left, right and centre. Um, it's actually proven to be more buggy than uh, Shogun 2 Total War. Anyhow, <clears throat> these green little tick things here, these just, I think, are journal entries that have now passed. And as we go down through them, uh, it's just outlining what's happened in the past, i.e. when Geralt took down the barricade by taking over the ballista, the recent appearance of the uh, of the dragon here and when we convinced Arian Lavalette to surrender. So if you want to read those in depth feel free to pause the video but this is where we are now. To the temple. An ancient temple stood within the walls of Lavalette Castle and the defenders had hidden Foltest children there. As was the custom during attacks, the gate to the sanctuary was firmly shut. Battering it down would take the soldiers far too long to satisfy the irritable Foltest. The king ordered Geralt to find another way inside, so the Witcher went to search for a back entrance. So that is where we are right now. <coughs> we have a couple of new characters highlighted. Count Echeverry who is a knight that's now dead. We have a little quite we have quite a bit about Sir King Foltest himself. Well, uh, at the start we got a uh, an entry on Vernon Roche, but we didn't quite read it. And he is the leader of the Blue Stripes, King Foltest's special forces. Vess she was also present order to get some food and drink for us whilst we parlay about what happened today. She is the only woman in that unit. We have this guy of course, the Nilfgaardian Emissary and Arian Lavalette, eldest child of the Baroness. Unfortunately though he laid down his arms and placed himself at the King's mercy. Unfortunately for him, the King's Mercy isn't quite as kind-hearted as one would hope. Okay. <clears throat> so quite the uh, quite the destruction here, quite the devastation. Okay, I'm getting a bit of uh, slow, a bit of uh, slow down issues. I'm sure they'll iron themselves out eventually. Okay. Now apparently you can actually go into most pa uh, most places and just help yourself to the goodies within. For instance, if we go and open this door, go inside this room here, we can see that we can open up these drawers and desks and take the orange from within. Now from a gaming perspective, there are no penalties for doing this, there are no me game mechanics that prevent you from doing it. You're not going to be uh, apprehended or, or accused of stealing, having to, or be imprisoned, like in Skyrim, something, something like that. But from a role-playing perspective, walking into people's houses and randomly taking their goodies doesn't quite seem up my Geralt's alley. So I'm not going to do it. Yes, I'm missing out on a few extra f and, and, and easy to pill for orans and other bonuses as well, but uh, that'll just have to be it's the case. Soldier, sir. And uh, before we go any further, there is a couple of shut it. We're innocent. A couple of things the I want to address in my inventory. Actually, for instance, uh, the fact that I have the wrong armor on. I want my raven's armor back on. Thank you very much. I also want my Erendite sword, my, sorry, my Mahakaman Ruin sword on as well. Now these little circles, I believe, are upgrade slots. And as I have been going through this prologue, I have picked out, uh, picked up a couple of armor enhancements. One that gives me plus one to armor, a fiber enhancer that gives me plus one to armor and one percent to bleeding. You also have some. Uh, 
runes that we can use to upgrade our swords. The fire rune giving us plus 5% to damage, resistance to incinerate, etc. Moon uh, rune giving us plus 4 to signs, earth rune and sun rune. So we can upgrade our swords with these here runes. And we can also upgrade our armor with the two bits here. Now, what all I want to know before I start putting these enhancements onto my armors and swords are if I do that and it upgrades, can I remove an upgrade or can I overwrite an upgrade? The reason why I ask is if I obviously put some upgrades on my armor and those upgrades I want to I want to change my mind about them later because the upgrade I put on isn't good enough. Can I do that? Because if I can't, then I have to be a little bit selective about what upgrades I put on which item. So if anyone would be kind enough to let me know in the comments, that would be much appreciated. So for now, until I find out for sure whether or not I can overwrite or remove upgrades, I'm not going to do it just yet. So we we'll also put our quick items back on, our bombs and our traps, and that'll do for now. So we're looking for a hidden secret passage here. Holding to ransom, eh? What's going on here? Shouldn't loiter around here, Witcher. Restricted military area. Well, I'm on the king's business, if you don't mind, so please, less of your cheek. I'll no, go wherever I please. Answer for treason. What treason, my lord? We're simple folk and know nothing of politics. What treason? Lover let lost, so you whimper like dogs. What will you do with us? The king will decide. Now, up against the wall and shut your traps. <laughs> yes, this town has been taken over. The king is in control. God's help us! Oh! Is there a need for this butchery? What on earth is going on here? Time to pay your war tax. Gold and silver on the table. And shut your gobs! Uh, excuse me? These people are unarmed. This is not your concern. Get lost. Okay. Get out of here. Now. Some kind of a hex. Uh, right. Sir. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Be careful. You may not be so lucky next time. Find a place to hide. I must find my wife first. They herded her away with others like cattle. Good luck. Alright. So we have protected the civilians from these uh, rather heavy-handed soldiers. As we should, no doubt. We can't let this injustice carry on, surely. Right, let's pick a few herbs. Right, there will be a quick save for this game, and uh, for the love of God, I shall remember it at one point or another. <clears throat> but for now, I can't. So, uh, just do a, a save from the menu. to the vanquished. Eager for blood and booty, the soldiers intended to set fire to the house in which they imprisoned the townsfolk. <sighs> Therefore our hero approached the unit's commander and a sharp exchange ensued. I assume that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> It'll be better this way for all of us. Who's in charge here? You've no business here! You've all gone mad. Faster with those logs! You've no business here! Leave them alone. They're innocent. Innocent? They're with the lavalettes. Weeds that need to be ripped out with their roots so they won't grow back again. Treason spreads like the plague. No one will leave here alive. And you stay out of this. I won't stand by while you murder innocents. So, what'll you do? Kill you. Oh, just like that. I was not after your blood. I have witnesses. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm in the fire! Ah! Come on, Commander! Come closer! Oh! Oh! 